Time now for Chamber Talk on a Monday morning. Every Monday morning, we welcome in the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Nancy, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Have what you, a beautiful day. It is nice out there. Oh, it was a wonderful weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Have you recovered from the annual Chamber Awards banquet, which was held Friday night? It was fabulous. Fabulous. I cannot say enough kind exemplary words about the committee i want to say their names because they did a fantastic job it was josie hannis who was the chair of course with her creative and she just has a flair it it she came up with some fantastic things to do ideas joan allen from revelations don bechtel from golf links to the past sue gale Fairfield Nutrition, Michael Halley, Danaher Oil Company, Johnine Parker from Jefferson County Health Center. You were there, wasn't it? It was a lot of fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was, the the core was wonderful. The entertainment, we had Tropicana uh, to go along with the uh, salsa fiesta theme. Um, we had the high school, Fairfield High School drum line. Uh, we had Jim Pedrick. As the MC, we had hors d'oeuvres provided by Top of the Rock. We had the Hideaway and the Burning Oak, a restaurant and bar having their specialty bar areas. We had games and we had our awards. <laughs> and to top it all off, we had two wonderfully, wonderful Citizen of the Year awards. And for those that were not there and have not heard yet, Scott Sletka uh, from the Fairfield High School and Stacy Wilson Wright from the the school also uh, are our citizens of the year. Um, they were there. They uh, kind of. Stacy was there the whole time. She thought she was getting the award for the African Violet Society. Scott Sletka, of course, they had their their play going on. And uh, a friend, a board member of ours, uh, Scott's friend, Darian Sloat, just went to the high school when it seemed about time. You always have to guess, you know, how everything's going along and when it's going to happen for the awards. But he went there and he said, you just have to trust me, Scott. You have to come with me. And uh, he did. And he was so surprised. And then the family, after they left, the family left also and surprised him by be being there and just was a wonderful night it's always a lot of fun watching the uh, and we've mentioned it before as they start sort of reading the uh, the uh, piece about the person because it's still not revealed until the very end <laughs> and and people's heads turning left yeah, and right, that's trying exactly to, trying right. To, now who, who who does that who does that criteria fit and does that da, 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 so anyway. it's fun yeah it is fun um when you can when you figured it out and you catch the expression on their face, and they have figured it out also. Of course, they always figure it out pretty, before we pretty, do. Pretty quickly. But still, it's it's very, very nice. So that was our annual awards banquet fiesta celebration presented by Midwest One Bank. And the committee has already got the date and the theme for next year. Next year's is going to be April 10th. So mark your calendar now. The theme of... Uh, <laughs> As of right now, is going to be Hawaiian luau theme. So that is April 10th. Somebody asked uh, me the other day, when did we went to the, we, when you went to the uh, themed uh, events, and this is, I think this is the third year that uh, an all-out theme has been. Yes, yeah. yeah. Right. It, uh, we had a, and I don't like know a rodeo it's... one the first year, yep. a, a, a Western. Last year was the casino. Uh, this year, of course, was the fiesta, and next year is going to be. And it is, I like it. It it adds to the decor. I mean, the the decor was great. Yeah, Vilma Thorne did a wonderful job. Oh, with the, she did. With yes, the room. I do not. I I do want to list. I, it's going to take some time, but I am going to say the sponsors. We had award sponsors. Danaher Oil Company, Fairfield Economic Development Association, Foss Kuyken and Cochran, uh, French Renneker Associates, Global ID Group, Hawthorne Direct, Shouse for his Companies, and Sunnybrook. Citizen of the Year Award Sponsor, Libertyville Savings Bank. Cocktail Bar Sponsors, The Burning Oak Restaurant and Bar, and The Hideaway. The Cocktail Table Sponsor, Fairfield True Value. Elite 
Seed Table Sponsors, Agri-Industrial Plastics, Bob's Automotive, Cambridge, Community First Credit Union, First National Bank, Fair, French Renneker Associates, High V, Indian Hills Community College, Iowa State Bank and Trust Company, Sunnybrook, Fairfield True Value, Facility Sponsor, Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, Floral Sponsor, Fairfield Flower Shop, Gift Sponsors, American Eye Care, Cambridge, Cedar Valley Winery, DiningStones.com, Fairfield Nutrition, Fairfield True Value, Golf Links to the Past, Isla, Jefferson County Health Center, Orpheum Theater, Squeal Good Barbecue, Revelations Cafe and Bookstore, Seven Roses Inn, Hors d'oeuvres sponsor, Top of the Rock Grill. Past president sponsor, KMCD Classic 96. Presenting sponsor, Midwest One Bank. Program sponsor, hy V. Sound sponsor, Purple Star Entertainment. Table sponsor, Holt Family Dental Care. And table decor sponsor, Pure Elegance Decorations. That was a mouthful. We couldn't have done it without them either. Thank you, thank you to all our sponsors. And we can quickly give who received the awards. I've got that here too. And that is Business Improvement Awards was Caribou Coffee and Hy-Vee Gas, Fairfield True Value, H&H Mold and Tooling, Holt Family Dental Care, Isla, Jefferson County Health Center, Sweet and Saucy, The Sweet Spot. Then the Community Improvement Award was given to Vintage Power Wagons. Uh, Green Building, Green Business Award was the Green Building Supply, Impact Award, Fairfield Art Association, Interactive Media Award, Fairfield Media Center, New Young Business Award, the Burning Oak Restaurant and Bar, Progress Award, Orpheum Theater, Rising Star Award, Sunnybrook Living Care Center, and of course our Citizens of the Year was, were, Scott Sletka and Stacy Wilson Wright. So congratulations, everyone. You deserve to be recognized, and the chamber was happy to give that recognition. And the one thing we haven't mentioned was the food. The food was fabulous. Uh, Fairfield High V Foo put the uh, the, um, the the Mexican fare on the table. The shrimp, the chicken, the the steak, fajitas, what do, uh, uh, rice, rice, uh, uh, beans. Very- Fried uh, you, know, ice cream. I'm, you know what? I don't eat a lot of ice cream, <laughs> but I had ice cream the other night. That ice cream was fabulous. With that touch of honey yeah, on there. Very it good. Just, yeah, it was very, very good. Thank Ch- you, Chef Noah and the gang did a great, great it's, job. We had over 200 people. It's never easy to serve that many people in um, a fast. Um, keep it hot type way and uh thank you hi yeah rustin and mandy did a good job as well all yes, right let's uh, segue to the the from the past to the future we have a new chamber member to highlight this week we do fair fest 14 and fair fest 14 is three days it's going to be june 20th through the 22nd and it's going to be fabulous free music right here in fairfield they had it last year it went way above and beyond what anybody expected and it's going to be even bigger and better this year um Fairfest is a citizens community initiative to create fairfield's largest annual event designed to showcase creativity and diversity of our town's focus on music food and sustainability it fairfest strives to become the single largest economic engine creating future interest and development in our town and it's free it's three days of free music last year the stage was like four stories high it was even taller than the fairfield arts and convention center going to do it again and like i said that is june 20th through the 22nd complete fair fest and contact information can be found on our membership directory on our chamber website www.fairfieldiowa.com that is our new chamber member going into our member to member spotlight is tropical tan perfect time of year to highlight tropical town they're located at 200 west burlington avenue and they're offering 20 percent off regular priced lotions and tan for the first time free it's a great way to start your summer tan and since spring is here really it's here summer is right around the corner so it's time to get your tan on at tropical tan to schedule your tanning appointment or for more information 
Uh, it can be found on our chamber web website, again, www.fairfieldiowa.com. Steve, do you want to hear what's happening this week? Yes, lay it on Hi, us. Hi, everybody does. Let's go with Monday. The Quest for Beauty Art Show... The Quest for Beauty Art Slideshow, the American Impressionism East Coast at the Icon Gallery tonight at 7.30. This is the second of a seven-class weekly series. Uh, you don't have to be taking the full course. Each session is a standalone visual treat. Uh, the series ends with a field trip to the St. Louis Museum of Art. Tuesday, Team Trivia at the Orpheum Theater at 7.30. Your Food GMO or Non-GMO presentation at MUM's Argero Center, 8 p.m. Nationally recognized and locked speakers talk about the growing concern of consuming genetically modified foods. Wednesday, April 30th, the last day of April. It's hard to believe April's almost over. The Kiwanis Club is having their weekly um, meeting and program at 545 at the McElhaney House. It's Jazz Night with Dave Leffler Quartet at the Orpheum Theater at 7.30. There's going to be poetry reading at MUM uh, Library, the North Lounge, at 7.45. There's going to be four po poets to read. There's Open Mic Night, Open Mic Night at Cafe Paradiso from 8 to 10 p.m. And then Open Mic Night at Red Rock Tavern at 10 o'clock. Thursday. Thursday is May Day. It's the first day of May. Then that leads us into Friday, which is Fairfield's first Friday's Art Walk. Um, it is homegrown. It's from 6 to 9. It's artists, musicians, filmmakers, photographers, um, lots going on. Homegrown this Friday. First Friday's Art Walk. Then there's going to be Late Night Jazz with Ingrid Best at Orpheum Theater at 715. And the Bronx Wanderers, Sondheim Center for the Performing Arts at 730. It's one family, one dream, the ultimate soundtrack of the 50s, 60s, and 70s rock and roll. Saturday, May 3rd. You know what Saturday is? Kentucky Derby Day. Is it really? Yeah, for Saturday in May. Ah. <laughs> Well, my husband and I, John and I, share the same birthday. Oh, happy birthday early. So it's May 3rd, so that's our birthday. He's a couple years older than I am, so I always, not very many, but I tease him and I tell him he's just a lot older than I am, even though we have the same date. <laughs> that's also the Fairfield Loop Trail Maintenance Day. Meet at Howard Park. It's from 1 to 4. Um, volunteers are invited for this by biannual event. It's also the Fairfield Farmer's Market First Outdoor Farmer's Market. It's going to be at Howard Park where it's been held in the past. And remember there is a change of hours. It's from 8 to 1. So that's Saturday. Fairfield Farmer's Market. It's also Eco Fairfield. It's going to be an Eco Jam Fashion Fest at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center 7 30 p.m. a fashion show unlike any other featuring eco-conscious designers creating artistic garments made of recycled vintage or organically sustainable materials that should be interesting i hope they take lots of pictures <laughs> late night jazz again with ingrid best at the orpheum theater at 7 15 and gabe dixon at cafe paradiso from 8 to 10 and he is a solo pianist and singer Sunday, Irish Jam with Tim Britton at Cafe Paradiso from 3 to 5. And there's also movie showtimes at the Orpheum Theater. No, Noah is Friday through Sunday, uh, 2 p.m. and also at 7.30 p.m. And it's about a man who is chosen by his our world's creator to undertake a momentous mission to rescue the innocent before an apple. I can't say the word all of a sudden. Apocalyptic flood cleanses the wicked from the world. My goodness. <laughs> and then on um, Friday and Saturday, it's under the skin at 7.30 p.m. Uh, and Sunday at 2, an alien seductress preys upon hitchhikers in Scotland. Upcoming chamber events. Um, we're going to have an ambassador visit on May 5th. 
Business After Hours on May 15th at Pure Elegance Decorations. And she is the one that did the uh, table decor for our table, the, the decor, the chairs, the sashes. Uh, again, we thank, we thank her for doing that, Vilma Thorne. And then uh, Men's and Blazes Blast Off in June. Wow. Lots of things going on. Lots and going again, on. And again, thank you, thank you to everyone that sponsored, volunteered, and attended our annual banquet. Thank you for all the businesses that revitalized, um, cr created an improvement to their business to make Fairfield uh, the wonderful town that we work, live, and play in. And April 10th, 2015? Yes, right? April, April 10th. 10th. A Hawaiian luau is the theme. Mark, yes. your, mark your calendar. Again at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. All right. Well, it was a great time Saturday night or Friday night. And again, we want to say congratulations to Stacy and Scott being selected the um, Citizens of the Year uh, 2014 version. Both very well deserving. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, um, it's, it's not a it's not an easy task for the past Citizens of the Year or the board to select because we have so many deserving people in town. It's, um, you know, and, and, and as I mentioned earlier, when you start listening to the um, the things that these people have done in their past, it's always fun to watch and see when it clicks in their eyes and when in everybody else's eyes. It is well. a complete decision by the past recipients. Um, we try to keep it as as secret as possible. Uh, of course, the staff knows. Uh, let some choice people know because they have to work out to get the information and to get the people there. Of course, the people in attendance at that meeting and uh, that decided that, and it's only, like I said, past recipients. Um, ambassadors do not know. Chamber board members do not know. Um, I'm sure there's some people on the committee that uh, lets some friends of the recipients know to make sure that they get there there also but it is a very guarded secret it's and always a lot it. of it's always a lot of fun so well again congratulations to you and Lindsay for doing a, another wonderful job there and josie for putting on a great pageant this was Lindsay's first first yeah. annual banquet and she did a spectacular job yep. so very very again nice. thank you thank you that is our Chamber Talk here on this Monday morning. We do it every Monday morning with Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce, Nancy Morsey. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Steve. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too.